He said, press the red button. Yeah. How are we doing? It is. It's my third podcast ever. Here. Or ever. Is it ever, ever? Yeah. Ever, ever. I mean, like, I've done, like, private ones that haven't gone anywhere. Oh, that's right. That's right. I I, I got a... All my private ones, though, I've probably done five of them. Uh, Me and Jalen actually had a good one. Um, Maybe when I'm, like, 60, 70, I'll post that one. You'll post it? But, maybe, uh, maybe that one, that, dude. That one was fucking hardcore deep, hardcore deep. It got deep. Oh, dude, like, and and we're fucked up, <laughs> which makes it easier to go deep. Easier to go deep, but hard to watch yourself. Oh, cringe. Hard to watch. Yourself. Cringe a little bit sometimes. Oh, I no, I didn't delete them. They're on my phone somewhere, but. I think we might have been crying and shit. That one was probably like a three-hour fucking podcast. Probably started at like nine at night and drinking cab in the morning. I think we started that shit off fucked up. And uh, I think like Mason, Cody were there too. Like we had probably like five guys. No, none of this shit clearly. Just fucking phone, microphone. Just, yeah, I ran. Yeah, just the one mic sitting there. Yeah, yeah. I'll post that when I'm 60. Um, damn. Anyways, uh, yeah, so like probably like five, but it's it's different. It's completely different when you're fucking hammered. And I've, I've, <laughs> I've probably done a couple recently that I was, uh, me and Abe's, we have a secret podcast on. We both have secret yeah. podcasts on Spotify. Yeah, yeah. You got to look. I ain't telling you what the fucking <laughs> shit's called. Because once again, we're <laughs> fucked up in that one. And usually that shit's about like rap and stuff because Abe's is always there and stuff. And that's kind of his lane. Yep. So like I, it's not really like personal. It's just like what we think about uh, the careers and shit. But once again... Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about one of them we just did. So uh, I was like, Pop Smirk. I was like, he sucks. And they thought I was talking about Pop Smoke. Mm -hmm. But uh, what's his name, actually? Uh, This is why we fucked up. And we went, um, he was a little pump's friend. It is Pop Smirk or Purple. It's the purple guy. uh, Dude, what's his name? I think it's Perp Smoke. Perp Smoke? I I really do think it's Perp Smoke. I think it's Perp Smoke. That's a song. It's not pop. His is like perp. I think it's perp. I think perp smokes, right? Oh, there's pop smoke. No, it ain't pop smoke. No. Right? No, no. it ain't, ain't that guy you're talking That's about. That's who we were. Like, That's what you thought he was that talking was about? That was the whole conversation. Bro, I around. know exactly who you're talking about. This guy was a part of that same crew as they all. Yeah, he did a few. He did like one banger. It's perp something. It is, dude. Or maybe it's not perp. I feel like it would come up. It's something smoke, I thought. Yeah, it must not be perp, because perp would have, yeah, perp. Smoke perp. Smoke perp. Yeah, that's who it is. It's okay. smoke so perp. It that is that guy. Yes, yeah. it is. So I was like, I was like. <laughs> little perp, a little water. He, he has this, uh, I don't know if you guys know it, um, what is it? Capital, capital, like, something podcast. It's where this dude brings on, like, rappers, and they all do, like, freestyles and shit. Yeah. And he was on there, and uh, he was doing a, do you know Moonlight by uh, X? No. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Moonlight, Moonlight. Moonlight. or whatever. And he's doing so that beats on. And he's trying to like rap to it, freestyle yeah. to it, dude. Oh, we should almost play it to the podcast. It was so bad, it was terrible, dude. He, he was just saying bullshit. Just he didn't know what to say. Dude. Yeah, you should actually watch it, and I want them to see your reaction because that'd be kind of funny. I'll keep talking about it. <clears throat> but anyways, so we're talking. So I said perp smoke, thinking that's who it was, and they're thinking pop smoke who just dropped his big album and just died or yeah, whatever. Yeah. He, all bangers, pretty much. And so I was like, he sucks, and they're all pissed off at me. They're like, no, he does not suck. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you? And we're just battling for like 15 minutes. And then I finally say that, uh, I was like, that song you did on Capital, whatever, that freestyle was ass. And then Abe's is like, are you talking about? Yeah, this shit's hilarious. This shit is hilarious. Moonlight. Oh. Spotlight, I don't even really want a spotlight, uh, <laughs> but they really put me in the limelight. Uh, not around them, they don't want a spy bite, uh, and I got that uh, new pipe. Uh, what I want to do with this new pipe? Uh, got a desert eagle and it's Fortnite. Uh, uh, play it like it's Fortnite. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Fortnite. 
in the spotlight. Uh, I don't really, really want the limelight. Niggas put me in the motherfucking limelight. Niggas put me in the motherfucking limelight. You can move me out the motherfucking limelight. Cause I really, really, really want to blow pipe. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Lil Bird really go. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. So he, so he wasn't think. He just, he couldn't think. Moonlight. Highlight. He's done. He's done. Uh, 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 this guy's like, I'm done. Then he cut. He's like, he's like, cut that. <laughs> <laughs> Boss Smirk was like, I cut it, man. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> now, how many times did he say spotlight? And then, oh my God. <laughs> Dude, the dog shit. So I'm thinking, so they're thinking pop smoke. I, I hope everyone knows who pop smoke is. Um, so they're all thinking pop smoke. I'm thinking this guy. Yeah. Or whatever. And we go on for 15 minutes. We're decently buzzed up going. And I'm fighting. I'm like, You're no. Fighting him, yeah. I'm like, this dude, shit. They're yeah. like, are you fucking kidding? And they're pissed at me. You can try to find it. I ain't telling you the name of the podcast. I won't tell anyone. Uh, it probably has something to do with my name, though. So if you know me. I think I even gave up. I think I deleted that. What's that? Uh, pod- Anchor. Is that what it is? Anchor, yeah. That I'm no longer associated with. But thank Hi, you, guys. Thank you for your little bit of money. Did we talk about that last time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, at your house, we did. We didn't talk about the podcast. Oh, uh, your did. house. This podcast is brought to you by Anchor. Okay, the podcast has to do something with my name. Good luck. What? I'm just saying. Oh, it has to do something with your name? If anyone wants it, we'll find it. Good yeah, luck. yeah, yeah. <sighs> if you find it, you better not share that shit either. Keep that shit to the grave. Keep I'll that shit to the grave. To the grave. Um, I, I don't have a question actually. Hold on. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Most Kramer Show. The Most Kramer Show is the most serious, silly show in the world. It's where we talk about serious things but have a silly goose time. Is life serious? Is life silly? I don't know. I think life is up to you. Ooh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Spotlight, spotlight, moonlight. <laughs> all night, all night. Yeah, right. Don't give me a big fight. I got you inside. Here we go. Uh, we got two more beats before the beat <laughs> drops. I'm not standing on my feet. I don't do no mops. But here we go now. Uh. When the beat starts going, yeah. That's when Marshall starts flowing, oh yeah. I stopped growing in fifth grade, yeah. But my dick didn't, uh. Yo, I got a big sledgehammer, woo! I'm just kidding, it's like a tiny hammer, uh. Yeah, like a mid hammer, ooh. Uh, yo, yeah, rapping, crapping, strapping. That's not what I'm doing. Ooh, <laughs> we in the room. Zoom, zoom. Woo, yeah. For sure. You beat uh, Smoke Perp right there. <laughs> now it's fading out. Now it's fading out. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Smoke Perp. Got nothing. Now we're back to recording normal. Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm here with my friend Frank again. Hey, it's his third hey. podcast ever of the first. You were on number 19, which has been Happy Campers. He was never on Willfully Optimistic. And now you're here for season three for the second time on the Marshall Kramer Show. Yeah, Marshall Kramer Show. We're talking a little bit about the Smoke Perp and, you know. Jay chillin', Jay chillin', Jay willin', Jay willin'. One hundred percent, bro. Yeah. And now it's now the weird part's over. That's the only official part there is. All right, I'm glad to be on this podcast, though. Um, That's what Tate said. What was your first one called? Happy Campers first season. Happy Campers was tough. It was Second really, season it was really was tough. Willfully optimistic. I feel like it was really, I was, it was really tough for me. Yeah. Because like, you had uh, one topic to talk about. One topic. The whole hour. I was young. I didn't know a lot of shit. I thought I knew a lot of shit. Didn't know a lot of shit, so it was, it was, it was kind of a Let, Let's be very real here and preface this goddamn thing first off <laughs> for y'all folks. We still don't know shit, Yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah. We just know a little bit more than yeah, we did I'm, yesterday. And 600 more days later. Yeah, and, and that's what so I... So much smarter. And that's what I think is, man. I, I, st- I, I talk shit, but I still don't know shit. 100%. So you got to be able... I preface that, and now y'all know, and now you're ready to rock with us. Now you're ready to rock with us. Yeah, Dude. if I give any advice, like, go ask your parents first. One hundred percent. What I think is right might not be right. <laughs> it might not, it might not be, be right. Right, and that's that's the best thing about this podcast. I, I'll tell you this thing. I'll tell you this too. I tell everybody else to make them feel a little bit more loose and goose. You know, allow yourself. This isn't live. If you all of a sudden 
and this won't be posted for 10 days. Yeah. So if all of a sudden, three days from now, you're driving your car, you're like, wish we wouldn't have said or talked about that. Oh, Even if sure. I did edit it already, I can go back and re-edit mm -hmm. it and cut that shit out. So then it happens sure. all the time. For happens sure. all the time. I'll, I, uh, let's, uh, what I can do now is I, one show kind of consists of like a 45 minute, no, not a 45, yeah, like a 45 minute dialogue between two people and then like a 15, 20 minute monologue that I kind of end the show. It's basically oh, okay. just me talking. So you're at podcast about an hour. Yeah, about an hour. I I, sometimes they'll go over. Sometimes, like, I'll use the whole 45-minute monologue, Dope, and it's an hour and a half. But, dude, sometimes I'll record 45 minutes, and we'll just use 15. Okay. Like, it's just like, we should yeah, not have yeah, gotten yeah. into that topic. But uh, my goal, bros. My goal for this one, I don't know what For bros, we just getting get in whenever we want. I want at least a two-hour. Then do the whole thing. Until that camera two runs hour. out, that camera's still got an hour and 39. Let's use the rest and of that memory. We can use all of that. We can use it all. Sure. Split it up between two episodes. 100%. Yeah, I'm going to get two done in one day, Because I already have a monologue. Two done in one day, baby. The shirtless monologue will be the first one of this. All right, bet. I can't remember. The, oh, the shirtless monologue was about, like, how the TikToks. TikTok is a new virtual high school. You know, oh, yeah. the blue checks are the popular crowd. It's you like know. a high school and, yeah. like, college combined. Combined. It's the new virtual high school college. Like, the blue check people are the popular. Well, I'd actually even blah, say blah, blah. it's just, like, probably high school and college combined. But, like, you're mostly going to be in one area. And then... And then it was kind of about that, but it mainly was about fucking laughing. And I was telling people, like, y'all need to, 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 to calm it down, okay? <laughs> Stop taking yourself so seriously. Calm the fuck down. Laugh. That's why mm -hmm. I call it the Serious Silly Show. Like, have some fun with this shit, bro. Because, oh, yeah. like, 2020 Well, it's really fucking tough. So you've done this hundreds of times. I'm not talking about the podcast. I, I, my podcast was shouting out to the world about the social shit and 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 all the fighting and all the bipartisanship with our political stuff like calm down everyone everyone I'm talking, oh, so you're just talking I'm talking to the 7.7 7 billion okay. people in the world calm the fuck down that's what yeah. the episode was about it was a monologue about y'all calm down I was like I was like I y'all need to start taking a laugh break mm -hmm. I know y'all mother I stop with the Kit Kat breaks because I know y'all are doing that <laughs> I can see it but y'all need to just start doing a, a laugh break I just stop and laugh. <laughs> count how many times I sip this. Talk, count how many times. Well, it had that little dinger. Like had a little dinger. It had a little dinger along the edit. I'm alcoholic ding, a little bit. I got ding. it in my blood, so like I'll be. Bro, that's the thing. I think though too. Like I told you, dude. Uh, I am. Uh, I'm not uh, just an alcoholic. I not just have. I'm not just predispositioned to be an alcoholic. I'm a functioning addict. That's what my family has breded has breed oh, yeah. for years. Oh, it's not just alcohol. Functioning addict. Oh, no, it's mean? not just alcohol. Yeah, I'm a functioning addict. But it's not just like. But like, dude, here's the thing. Tell me if you agree with this. Going back to the first time you ever came on, episode hey. 19, talking about hey. addiction. Um, psychologists and therapists were talking about, which I've heard, they talk about, they only label it as an addict, not an addiction, but you only become an addict when it gets in, 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 in the way of your priorities. Do you agree with that? So if I smoke, so here's the scenario. Marshall Kramer smokes weed all day, right? But yeah. I work 10 hours. Johnny C smokes weed all day, sits around. We smoke the exact same amount of weed. Am I not an addict, but he is? I still go to work, but he doesn't. Is that what defines an addict? Or well, the fact that we use it all day defines as an addict. I'd I think it's kind of up to interpretation, but... I'd say if it affects your life in any... Not any way, I guess. Because if it does a positive... Yeah. I mean, like, I guess that's still... Would, that, back to episode 19, I guess. You can pull that. Little, pull it a little closer. Sorry, 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 there you sorry, go. sorry, sorry. There you go again. So back to episode there 19, it still could be... Uh, you still could be defined an addict, I guess, if you were doing good shit on it. Yeah. And you needed to be legit. Yeah. So, like, basically, like, I, I, we don't have a word for it with other drugs, but, like, you know, you can be an alcohol addict, but you're not an alcoholic, quote, unquote, and, like, they say, until it affects your, and maybe not all of them agree with that, because I don't know. I thought it, def it was defined by your use. If you used a good amount of m uh, caffeine, you're a caffeine addict. If you used a good amount of weed, you're a weed addict. If you used a good amount of alcohol, you're an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. Like, I just thought that's how it is. You know what I'm saying? But maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. And that would make sense because think about when we say the word stoner, right? There's a negative connotation to that. Oh, hell yeah. Stoner, stoner and Marshall alcohol. both smoke weed all day. But Marshall does his work and the stoners are the ones who sit around, and eat the Cheetos and watch movies all day. Yeah, so I don't know. basically what we're asking or what I think you're asking or telling or preaching, whatever you want to. I'm asking. I don't know. Categories it is. is um, are you an addict if you use a shit daily? But you're still getting your shit done. Yeah. Does that make you an addict or what does that make you? What does that make you? Just a user. Does that make you a heavy user, regular user? I don't know. What yeah. makes an addict? Is a car an addict for gasoline? I mean, you put it in there, it's going to work. And you don't. It's not. And it technically, but, but it needs it. But that could go. That, 
gasoline is the ga- gasoline is the car's food for us. Yeah. You know? Basically, yeah. And we need food. And you have food every day. For sure. And you're not an addict until you start gaining weight. Like you said, maybe. Not not gets in the way or changes or affects your life, but affects your life in maybe not even a negative way, but affects your life in a detrimental way. Because any sipping of booze, if you just drink booze on Friday night, it's gonna affect your life negatively. Mm-hmm. It's not good for your body. But if you only do it on Friday night, you're not a fucking addict. No. But how about every day? I know that's what I'm trying to ask. I don't know because <laughs> I drink damn near every day, but I don't know if I'm an alcoholic, and mm. I know I'm. De- I know I'm hereditary wise. I think most people. I think like I think it's like crazy, like a fi- like fifty percent. Alcohol has been ingrained in so many societies. Oh yeah, no, so yeah. many societies. That's what we every Friday and Saturday night. What commercials start playing? Get to the fucking bar. Go out and have a drink. Probably, Fourth of July, have a drink. St. Patty's Day, have a drink. Christmas, yeah. have a drink. New Year's, have I'd a drink. Say, I'd honestly probably say... Got like, a new job, have a drink. Got a divorce, have a drink. I think... Uh, how, do I, how do I go about this? I'm trying to put a conclusion together in my head. I honestly think that... Uh, so, like, what is it? How many percent of people are Christians in the United States? Like 50, 45? I, I've just talked about Christians in the last episode. There's 2.4 billion Christianity followers in the world. So I don't know the United States, but okay. 2.4 billion in the world. That's so, a shit ton. Yeah. Largest religion. So, uh, well, you just count all the religions and like, because I know like like hard Christians, they don't drink, but I, I, I count myself as a Christian. Like that's the faith I believe in. I fucking drink. <laughs> and I know fa- families that like, that are very like dedicated to their religion don't drink and then there's families who like go to church every sunday still but they drink you know what i mean 205 million as of 2019 205 million christians in this in the united states yeah in the world and it's and then it says over 141 million people affiliated with other countries okay so 205 205 out of 350 million that's like two thirds of the United States. Oh, okay, I thought you were talking. That's about a world. shit I you were talking ton. About world. I was like, no, I said the world is two point right. four billion. Oh, okay. so damn near again. That's a third of the world. Mm. So two thirds of the United States, and then a third in the world. Okay, yeah. Because the thing we go to the world, you get Muslims and Buddhists. See, and, and then there's my point there is. Uh, but I didn't know that. Is that many, is that the look truth? Up, look up how many people drink alcohol. I don't know. What the so that so that is a Christianity standard. So why I brought up Christianity in the last. I don't Episode? think it's a standard that you can't drink. I, I want to ask you because I didn't know, and I don't. I'm not going to do the research, so I don't give a fuck. But the reason I brought up Christianity is because I saw a video on TikTok, and it was a girl, a Christian girl, talking shit about Justin Bieber. About Justin Bieber. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, "Yo, girl." First, I started off I with never. I, I started off with like, "Who the fuck are you?" Tell me this. Tell me this. Tell me okay. this. Tell me this. Tell me this. I never comment. Never. I pulled as soon as I saw that video. I pulled that shit up. I was like, "Never." I was like, "I'm a Christian." This is why people run away from Christianity. Is what you're doing so right now. So judgmental. I didn't post it or whatever. I thought about it. I was like, you know, this is just, this ends nowhere. So I didn't post it or whatever. I was like, yeah, whatever. But like literally when something pisses me off. And what did what did he say in that song? Peaches, is that the song? Yeah, he goes, he goes, got my weed from California. Yeah. That's all she was commenting and about. And he said something about bitches. I got my, I, I brought my chick up to the north. Yeah, yeah, badass bitch. Yeah. That's, that's the two lines she was commenting about, I believe. Yeah, well, I don't know what else she would be commenting. Like, I don't know. I, was like, I, was like, I don't. I wouldn't comment about any of it. Cause I was like, "Are you fucking?" Kidding I said, me? "Could you not be like a normal person and just be banging your head like we're all like, yeah, ooh, ooh." And this girl's like, "Huh, really, Justin? Claim really, Justin? Christian. You, you call yourself a Christian, Christian, and these are the values you hold?" <laughs> yeah, I don't like that one bit. Half of the I U.S. hate it. Half who knows what these are? This is from this is from PewResearch.org. dot org. But uh, half of U.S. adults, fifty one percent who say they attend religious services at least once a month, report drinking alcohol, alcohol in the last 30 days. Half? 51% half of them, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Within one month, too. <laughs> so yeah. So and here's like numbers for like Catholics, right? So it says like, it says like 60% of Catholics have drank in the past 40 days, 30 days, and 17, again, who knows the statistic, and then 17 of them engage in binge drinking, right? Mm-hmm. Use that number for reference. You got 60 and 17. For atheist, it's 62 have done in the last 30 days and 26 engage in binge drinking. Two things to say is like how many of these people are true, right? Because yeah. you know a lot of those, you know all those 17 or 60% of the Catholics were truthful, but how many of those 40% were not truthful? And how many fucking take medicine? Ooh, that's 100%. a drug, bro. 100%. 
That's our real job. Right? Oh, Everyone the, takes medicine. Or one of the worst drugs in the United States, I think, that affected a lot of shit is caffeine. Uh-huh. It's the most worldwide socially accepted psychoactive drug. Yeah. No one drinks caffeine and is not more happy, more energetic, more conversational, more socially ambunctious. Uh-huh. It's, it's a drug. It's just like everything else. And that's why And that's why you have – I hate the people like, <laughs> I'm not a morning person. I'm not a morning person. Let me guess. You drink fucking coffee. And until you get your fucking coffee – then you're not a morning person. You know mm-hmm. what that is? That's called withdrawal, bitch. That's <laughs> called every morning you wake up, you have withdrawals from the day yeah, before. You fucking morning. There was one girl we went to high school with that said it all the time, and I love her to death, but it made me so mad. Mm-hmm. You had a thing. You had a um, time with her at a younger age okay. before we yeah, stepped in. We yeah. I'm not a morning <laughs> person. I'm not, bitch, I will knock you the fuck <laughs> out, dog, because that's not the truth. You just don't like being – your life is so miserable. You don't like being awake. That's why you're not a goddamn morning person. And then you start coping with your reality by noon. And you're like, okay, I guess this isn't that, that shitty. But that's why you don't want to oh. wake up. It's just your life is horse shit. So this might be a conversation. Horse you know, shit. In your butt. This, <laughs> uh, literally, this just came to my head because you said high school, early high school. And then you said uh, – your life's miserable, and uh, I don't even know how this came up in my head, but I just remember fucking Joe Rogan talking about um, kids being evil, just evil pieces of shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't know exactly where I'm going with this, but I just I don't know why. But when he said that, I just started dying laughing thinking that. But it's true. Like kids are fucking dicks. Dicks. Dick ahead. They roughly. won't. They won't hold anything back. They don't understand. I was a dick. I was too, man. We don't understand reality. Like, I was like a nice dick too. Like, but we think we know like, what we're I'd talking nice about. It. I'd be nice to you during snack time. <laughs> Two other people are fucking with you. I'd be fucking with you too. Like yeah, yep. Guilty. 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 Because it was fun. At least I thought it was. It was evil. I was it was evil, mean, bro. I would never do that today. Like. I see people fucking with each other now. I'm just like, dude, come on. Come on, man. Clean it up, dog. Clean unless it up. They, unless, it was like a, unless it's like a joking fucking with you, then I'll fuck with someone. But I'm kind of bad at that, I honestly. I think I'll, I'll like fucking go into a conversation thinking about the, like, I'm about to say something just to fuck with them about this or whatever. And then it might hit them deep and I'm just like, ooh. And then I'll sit there and be like, I'm just playing, bro. And then just like, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, like, yeah. Oh. I was like, yeah. And I'll walk away too and I'll be like, Man, yeah, I was like, yeah. That, that hit him deep. Yeah, yeah. Like, and like I've had it happen to me too, where someone will say some shit to me, and I'll just be sitting there like, "That's kind of fucked." Up. Like I don't, like, I don't, I usually never take it personal, because I know their intent or whatever. But at the same time, it just still hit me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'll just be like, "Oh fuck." What was your big insecurity in high school? Like your biggest one, if you know. Oh, high school. I don't believe anyone didn't have any. I don't believe that. <laughs> Um, I think probably not being liked, like straight up. Yeah, you need to be liked. Yeah, I yeah. definitely. A lot of high, a lot of kids have that because they and like guess what? We like, don't like so ourselves. Like, Speaking of being classification, and my parents would always say this shit to me, like, um, "Oh, why don't you hang out with this person or whatever?" And I was just like, "I don't know or whatever." I'd be like, "They're just hanging out with other people." I'd say shit like that, and they're like, "Do you think?" It's because like you're in like the popular group. I was like, yeah. I was like, I don't see my group as the popular. Group. Yeah. And they'd be like, well, maybe you guys are, maybe you just don't know it. I'd be like, well, it's not like if they, he came up to me and asked me if I wanted to do something, I'd say no mm. or whatever. And they're like, mm. well, would you say yes? And would you like make a plan and go through it? I'd be like, it depends. And then <laughs> yada yada yada. And basically, like, do you want to say it? Because like, in, and and I guess it's definitely harder to like point out a popular group if you're like you're not in that group because mm-hmm. like that's what it is because the i feel like all around the board like you can unless you're like a fucking this piece of shit and you think your group's like the best thing in the world then you'd probably say oh yeah we're the popular people but like most good people would never fucking say that like i don't think anyone in like our group of friends would be like we're the popular ones you know what i mean mm-hmm. they wouldn't like brag about it and like that's kind of what it sounds like when like you like my parents when they were saying that to me like yeah i was in the popular group whatever i'll I'll admit it i i I never (laughs) thought of it that way i personally never thought like that i was like better than anyone or whatever but like what hurt me really bad is like god this makes me sound like i was in the popular group but like the choir people the play people they're all like in their own group or whatever and like i'd be nice to them and like i'd say like hi and shit and like they'd (laughs) I, and I'd get like hate, like fucking yeah. um, 
Mm -hmm. I'm not going to name drop anyone because <laughs> fucking it somehow come back to me. But yeah, there's well. this girl in the play -ish, play like the high school play area mm -hmm. or whatever. And um, she was uh, so one of my girlfriends in high school, she was like friends with her and fucking like, well, I'd go sit by her and my girlfriend and like start <laughs> talking or whatever. And this bitch was mean to me, like really mean to me. Mm -hmm. And like. And I'd just like act like it was fun and games. I'd be like, oh, LOL, or whatever. I was like, it's fine. But then she'd be sitting there like, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, mad. I mean, she'd be like, and then I remember one time she's like, I almost name dropped so hard. <laughs> Why are you even dating him? And I was just like, and then my ass, is, my ass is like, why are you friends with her looking at my girlfriend? Oh, was, damn. Whatever. But like, dude, like, I've never like, I don't know. That made me feel terrible. And mm. like, there's been a couple other times I'd say hi to people and they'd just be like, mm. I'm just like, shit. I was like, and that's kind of one of like, that was probably the end of high school. And I was like, noticing, I was like, okay, like, these people look at me as a fucking jock, douchebag, sports guy, whatever. And that kind of made me feel bad. I, that was uh, something that made me vulnerable in high school. Mm. It, did, it didn't make me vulnerable, but it made me fucking feel, um, shit like i wasn't accepted you know what i mean i wanted to be accepted by everyone and i was not accepted by them as a friend or anything or acquaintance they fucking hated me just because of who i was hanging around with now now <laughs> i'm going to bring this full circle for everyone i'm going to bring us back back um uh, to reality is what that's the word i like to use sometimes people like to get in mystical um delusions uh, but I like to look at them and bring them back to reality. Uh, this is going to help you out, make sense of your reality, and make sense of those hey, theater geeks. By the and, way, and validate. By the way, and and validate. I'm over it. And validate I'm over it. I'm those over theater it. geeks too, because um, actually, no, I'm not even over. That when shit you, still when, fucking bugs me. You know, hey, bitch, if you know you're watching <laughs> this and you remember it, fuck you. I was trying to be nice to you. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I was popular. Uh, uh, about five minutes. But ago. I was nice to you. you about bitch. five minutes ago, when you talked about how. You know, there's there's the shitty people in the world who, who, <laughs> who decide to elevate themselves, right? And then those are the people that... Okay, that, but I was... Listen! Like, you got to get what I'm getting at here, okay? I'm mad, I'm self I'm self-deprecating. I'm mad. I'm, I'm about to self-deprecate. I'm mad. Okay? okay? Right. I'm glad you had that experience because we you know, were in the same group. And now, I want the people to know here. I don't want you to be mistaken. Uh, we were the popular group, folks. Right, see, okay? And I was the say. shitty person. I was a shitty person who needed to be in the popular group, who made the popular group, labeled the popular group, but and let this, all those other theater geeks out. know that y'all ain't in the popular group. So when the theater people okay, but were I'm, hating on you, I'm, it's because they really hated on me. And they hated on the other M name. And they hated on the T, right? The people who knew we were popular. I, and I was like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We there's, popular dog. There's, there's we M's. popular dog. We fuck, <laughs> we fuck bitches on the weekend. What y'all do? Play your fucking trumpet dog? We were drinking <laughs> and smoking. Yeah, you fucking, bro. you're on stage, you know, singing in the mic while I got your girlfriend hey, Mom, rocking you my your mic. Shit, you already know Rocking my it. mic. That's what I did. I knew I was popular and I needed it. So yeah. yeah. So what I was holding, getting at is like, it's like when they were hating to be mad at you, it's because of us. Okay, because that's how I acted, dog. That's why That's why they talk about all the time on every podcast, Tate, Jordan, and not Evan, but Tate and Jordan hated me, hated my guts. Evan Evan even said it too. He talked to me. He's like, he's like, because I knew Evan since third grade. He's like, dude, they always hated you. And I was like, I, why do you hate Marshall? He's a nice guy. And they're like, fuck this dude. He thinks dude, he's fucking, so cool. Uh, that's that's the image that I gave off. Yeah, I was super cool. Sure. I was so cool, dude. Evan, so cool. Evan, uh, Jordan, Evan and Jordan came over with... Uh, Abe's and um Evan last weekend or whatever, and I was talking. Evan and Jordan came over with yeah, Abe's and, and Evan. Like, oh, Evan, Evan T. Evan Tracy. Um, oh, both of them. So Evan Epperly and T. Hell yeah. Evan Epperly and uh, Jordan. And Evan Epperly. Evan Epperly and Evan Tracy. Jordan and Jordan. Jordan and I like literally hung out with Jordan and fucking Evan the whole time. Yeah. And I didn't. Stay They're out. dope as fuck. I didn't stay out. I was probably up for like two hours while they were there or whatever. But I hang, hung out with them. But I was just like thinking and shit. And we talked about you a little bit because uh, Josh Loons was there too. He's like, I think he hates me or whatever. Is that why you called me at two a.m. Loons? You Facetime me at two a.m. Oh yeah. I was I did. sleeping and my computer was up with the speakers. No, I was gonna. No, it was that. Awesome. Was it two a.m. Two a.m. One fifty. Oh, my, my room gets lit up and all of a sudden. Ding, 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 yeah, because I think. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. I was like, "What the fuck?" And I, I, I just passed out and it shut yeah, off. Yeah, because uh, yeah, we it was probably two a.m. Because two we, in the morning. We left the bar at eleven in at Kanitsky's in Clear Lake or whatever. Then we got home probably like and they probably all arrived around uh, midnight. Or Holy shit! So I definitely I think I went right to bed right after Late you didn't night. answer. But I was gonna be like, get your fucking because I was with those. Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was with those. Two. I'm coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two a.m. Two a.m. Uh, but anyways, um, uh, I forgot. You hang out with Evan and Jordan. 
Homer. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, so like back to like those guys like not really liking you in high school or whatever. I was thinking, I was like, because I said to something about them, I was like, I was like, I felt like we were always in gym class together. I was like, I probably took six gym classes in high school. And I think Evan, you were in Evan every, specifically. I was, like, yeah. I was like, I think you were in every one of them. Majority, and I was like, I'm pretty sure like junior and senior year, you were in every one of them too or whatever. <laughs> and fucking, I guarantee fucking Evan hated me in high school because I remember getting mad at him because he just, He's an athlete. He's he a tryhard. He, he likes to go hard. And yeah, he, he likes to go hard as fuck. He's a tryhard. And I remember, like, fucking, like, when you go try hard against me, I'd be like, oh, okay, bitch. Okay, bitch. I love you, Evan, by the yeah. way. Because uh, you're an athlete, too. Not yeah. necessarily a tryhard. Like, it, it's it's kind of dope in the way, yeah. actually, because that's just the way of fucking sports yeah. and competitiveness. So it actually is kind of cool. But I remember me and him, like, it wasn't just all, it wasn't all the time, but I remember he would go, like, hard, and I'd be like, oh, you think you're good, bitch? And then I'd get physical with him. And there's there was a couple of, like, not, like, huge moments that were just like, fuck you, whatever, you know? Like, letting him know or whatever. And he'd do it right back to me. He didn't mm-hmm. give a fuck who I was. But, uh, yeah, that's all I had to say about that. Mm. Yeah. Now nah, I know. I, 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 think, I think it's so funny how we are good bros, good buddies now. But, hey, man, that's the, that's the, like I said, I, I'm an idiot 60 days ago. I'm an idiot today. But hopefully in 60 days from now, I'm going to be less of an idiot than I was today. 100%. Because I think I was. <laughs> I think I am less of an idiot than I was 60 days ago. But, you know, that's how I feel. Um, yeah, you see, it's all over the board for me. I, actually, I've been really good, in, like, since I've started my new job. I've been, like, less alcohol. How's that going? Most of it, it's going. I haven't gotten paid yet because yeah. commission. I have to wait for my jobs to get done and shit. But other than that, like, um, I can do better, hundred percent. I th- I think that, and I want that. I'm fucking fresh out the gate too. Like, first time ever in like a sales type career. It's not really sales. It's not really sales, but like I get paid like it's sales. Yeah, it's salesy. Salesy. <laughs> um. Yeah, but you are you're. It's salesy because you are approaching people who do need it. Kind of the same thing as a car salesman. It's like you're a salesman. They're they're on the fucking yeah, lot. Yeah. They're coming to buy a car. What kind of fucking salesman are you? But yeah, but like you're going to people who like we heard this area has high damage. Let's yep. just go see if you have damage. Oh, you don't have damage. Mm-hmm. Next, and a lot next. of people fucking like who the fuck likes random people coming through. No one does. I fucking uh, we had a, a mayor of fucking not a mayor. He was something in the fucking. Buffalo Town would never come up to the door. This old guy or whatever, he's like, yeah, I've been the mayor. He wasn't the mayor. Something in the fucking town of Buffalo. Town council, somewhere in the Yeah, and he's like, I've been in this for 37 years. He's like, um, he's giving me his pitch or whatever. And I'm just like, I'm being nice to the guy. Like, I'm yeah, just yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but I was like, right away, I was like, I think me and Josh Lumley were just wish home. you wouldn't have answered the door. And I was like, fuck, who's here, Josh? I was yeah. like, whatever, and... I, I, we might have been drinking or something. I was like, who the fuck's here or whatever? And I like look out. And I was like, I see this old lady in the truck. <laughs> just chilling there. <laughs> B- bug-eyed. Like, oh, shit. This is a sketchy house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's 12 cars here. Why is there 90 cars? And then the fucking I like look down to the side and I see I see the old guy. It's like a little hunched over. Has his pamphlet and stuff. I was like, oh, I got it, Josh. I was like, I'll go talk to him. And he gave you me You thinking they were church and, guys? No, um, he just gave me his pitch, and I was just like, I was like, I ain't voting one, but I was like, yeah, I was just give, I was just letting him talk, and then fucking uh, he's like, could we put a sign in your yard? And I like looked over, and I was like, we have a Trump sign because my fucking roommates are huge Trump fucking fans. I'm, I'm in the middle. <clears throat> I didn't love the guy. I didn't hate him. I liked his policies. I didn't like the guy himself. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. I can say that, and. Yeah, I would never be like a, just so people know, I'm not like a fucking Trump, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I actually like kind of hate being like with my friends. I love my friends and like their views are their views and I respect that, but I'm not fucking Trump, Trump, you know what I mean? Like no way in hell. Um, I think he did. I'm have- going to, I'm going to interrupt. I'm going to interrupt whatever we're fucking talking about. Cause I want to dive into that. And I need you to fucking back me up on this and tell me this fucking shit. Okay. Cause you, we, we live and we've been around some of the fucking rightest people right right yep. as shit oh yeah. right okay but you've also been around some of the leftist shit maybe oh, it's yeah. maybe maybe a female not maybe stereotypical but maybe a female listen to this right it was so like- when it's 2 a.m when it's 2 a.m and they're in the right or the left they're both eight shots deep 
They're not that different, are they? No, hell no. We're not that fucking different. No, they no, will no, all no. cry to you and tell you, confess to you about yeah. their life and the struggles they have and how they don't feel good. This I'm putting politics aside. I'm talking about them as a person. We're not that fucking different. No way. So stop. I hate that we divide between left and right, D and R, you know, black and white, blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, all of you, I, I met the Asian of the Asians of the Asians, the Chinese foreign exchange students who come over from straight from China, right? And yep. I've lived in central Minnesota and I've met the rednecks of the rednecks. Like my, one of my best friends won't even wear a mask. Uh -huh. Like he's an anti-master, won't even wear a mask, right? Both of those two people are the nicest fuckers on earth. Because that same guy who won't wear a mask, he'll drop anything for me, yep. anything. If I, if I just want him to come over for four hours, he'll drive an hour and, and help me with an oil change. It and just he'll go sucks because like when it comes to politics, it's just like, um, it's just like your favorite movie actor, you know what I mean? That's what it comes down to. It's like, who are your favorite? Who out of these people, who's your favorite? Who do you, who, what What are they saying that like makes you feel that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And some people fucking, you know. <laughs> no one lets the their, hicks, no I, one I'm lets just, their. I'm just going to say this. I'm just going to say that. the hicks are like, not hicks, just like the more right people are just like, I work, I work 60 hours a week, I'm, I pay for my own shit. And like that's what they own, and that's what they feel like they own, and that's why they fucking go for Trump. And then Biden's side, the uh, uh, the Democratic side is more like, okay, like we need to care for other fucking people in this world, you know what I mean? And that that's ba like what it comes down to is that's what the sides were. No, it's no, like, that's no, 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 I'm, no, 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 hold on. No, because that word right there is a good word. Care for other people. Have no, 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 listen, listen, yeah, yeah. listen, listen, let me just say but my thing here. Care for other people. We we we're around the Hicks. We're in Hickville. Do they not care? No, they care as much 100%. about their neighbor as no, a no, liberal no. does. Oh, hundred percent. We do it in different ways. Hundred percent. We but do that, it in different that's ways. What I'm saying, what and the only reason I'm complaining is I don't care what you think. But why do we let that divide us? We all that's want. Exactly. We all want red or blue. We all want our neighbors to thrive. We all want our neighbors yeah. to decide. But for me, right, when it comes to financials, I lean more red. Right. So if somebody comes knocking the door and they go, "Hey, I'm Mr. Taxman. I want to collect more taxes to help out your neighbors," I go, "Fuck you. Not going to happen." Yeah. But 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 but, Joe or Johnny. My two neighbors come to yeah. me and go, Marshall, we're having a really bad time. I could use help in this. I could, I could, I, could, I need yeah. someone to rake my yard. I need someone to help me in my oil change. I need someone to help me move. Mm -hmm. I'm fucking there for you, Johnny. Anything you fucking need, I, I'll drop my fucking hat and run to your goddamn yeah, house. Yeah, and I think everyone's like that, but I think where like people get divided is like those lines. Yes, and I'm with you. I'm just saying that's the bullshit. Mm -hmm. I gotta stop. I have to piss. So, so do I. Bad, so. That's, that's, that's what was, uh, to close this out. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting here like to this. close I'm this sure out. Noticed, to like, close this out. That's all I'm fucking saying is yeah. that shit's gonna fucking stop. Yeah, I hate that conversation, Juan. Um, I hate it. Hate it. Really, like never want to talk about it again. Like it's gonna come up. I know I will have to talk about it the rest of my life and shit. But um. Yeah, it's just like people get blinded by that shit. They they do. They really do. They do. And like I've caught and their myself, egos get caught up into I've it. I've caught myself on each side. Their being, egos get caught up into it, know? and it's like you know. But no, that's what I say is no one lets their favorite actor divide them. Okay, exactly. who's your favorite actor? Just name it quick. Robert just, Downey Jr. Mine's Leo. We're still gonna be friends after this. Yeah. Okay. Who gives a fuck? No, I could fight you. They're both that. great when actors. When we come back, we'll fight. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not about Leo, my guy. Okay. If I would have said something like, wait. "Oh, Will Smith," then maybe. But I said Leonardo what's, what's DiCaprio. The, what's the? So there's Grammys for music. What's the actor? Oscars? Oscars. How many does he have? One only. Yeah, <laughs> fucker. One. He's only got one. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Marshall Kramer Show. The Marshall Kramer Show is the world's most serious, silly show. We talk about serious things, but we have a silly goose time. Is life serious? Is life silly? I don't know. I think that's kind of up to your discretion. But today, y'all are going to take me serious. I'm sick and goddamn tired of this jokester shit. I'm sick and tired of y'all joking around, poking fun at me, saying, oh, Marshall can't ever be serious. Oh, 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 he talks about serious things, but he's just being a silly goose. No, today, it's nothing but serious. And if you're listening to this, I urge you to go watch the video right now. Because I want you to see in my eyes the seriousness of me. Oh, I'm serious. No, but for real, but not really for real on a more serious note, but also not on a serious note. This episode is kind of playing off tangent. The last one, right, where I kind of talked about, I kind of talked about, um, you know, 
ending seriousness, being honest with yourself. We're really not that different. Have a laugh break, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to kind of just get more in on that because I'm just feeling like a podcaster day to day, okay? I feel like podcasting today and I feel like talking about these things because these things are some things that are urgent to my mind, okay? So first off, seriously silly. That's what I am. I am I am sillily serious, okay? I am seriously silly and sillyless seriousness, okay? And I've talked about a million times, you know, using silliness, using comedy, using laughter to cope with the fucking serious reality. But also, honestly, I'd, I'd hate to be one to say, who the fuck knows? Is life serious? Is life silly? This is one that, this is, this is an example I wanted to use, right? So in my fucking hand here, I got a goddamn packet of Chick-fil-A sauce, which is probably one of the best goddamn sauces in the world, okay? And if you don't think that... No, no, no. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything because you're, you're titled, you're entitled to your opinions and you do you, baby boo. But anyway, Chick-fil-A sauce. Okay. So this is what, this is what I was <clears throat> hearing from this, uh, this guy on TikTok and I looked into it and, he, and he's right, blah, blah, blah. And he looked at this calcium, um, disodium EDA added to protect flavor. And he was talking about how, you know, EDA, he used to use it as a dental assistant or something like that. He used to use it to, I don't, I don't remember, but he used it within his, um, when he was a dental assistant and they use it for the teeth and too much of it can cause all types of serious health problems. And then I read, I see that, I see his thing and I go, oh shit, you know, he's, he was had, he had a serious moment and he was talking about a thing. He's just like, oh, you know. You know, look how look look at look at what we're feeding ourselves. Chick Fil A is one of the most popular fast food chains. Got to be one of the top ten. And 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 Chick Fil A sauce is off the fucking wall. That that of that Polynesian sauce, and they go off the fucking chain with it. And it's like, yo, this is serious. The shit they add. Is it? Because he says it, and it seems all serious. And I go, oh my god, we got to make a change. And at the same time, I go, but it's fucking good, Jerry. It's good. It's really good. Okay, it's amazing. I love it. So you know, you know, is life serious? Is life silly? I don't know. You know, there's gonna be a bunch of people, probably not too many, but there's gonna be several people who are gonna watch that video and take it serious. They're gonna be like, "Oh my God, we gotta make a change. We gotta, we gotta eat better food. It starts with our diet, which is valid. It's totally okay." Or there's gonna be a lot of other people, people like myself, who may think that for a second, and they're gonna go. But who the fuck cares? <laughs> Shit's good, baby. They talk about Red 40, Red 40 and Gatorades and cereals and fucking ketchups. Like, all that shit's good, dog. I don't know where the fucking problem is at this shit here. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, man, we're just, is life serious? Is life silly? What's the point of life, man? What are we here for? Are we here to fucking work? Are we here to have fucking fun? You know, it's up to debate. It's up to fucking you, dude. It's up to you to define whether life is serious or life is silly. I choose to say life is seriously silly. It's seriously silly. It's it's sillily serious. Sillily, sillily. And again, I urge you to watch this on video to, to, to just see me today and see the seriousness that I'm coming from on this standpoint. These are serious conversations and serious topics. And I want to be serious. I'm here for it. I'm seriously here for this. Okay? I'm ready for this shit. Anyway. And that's that's what I, I first want to start off with, and then I, I I don't think I touched on it too long, but I want I think I you know I can't I don't I don't even know I don't even know how much I talked about it because I haven't edited it yet, but um you know one of the quotes I wrote down was be honest with yourself be brutally honest with yourself otherwise you are gonna be fucking pissed when others are because people are and people should be people should be I had a whole episode on shame bring back shame you know what I'm saying and bring back brutal honesty. Um, you know, push people in their fucking lanes. If people are, a lot of people step out of their goddamn lanes and maybe I do too. Push me back into my fucking lane. I think life has done that. I don't think I'm smart enough. And, you know, I, I, I can interpret enough to see, you know, and, and yeah, okay. That wasn't my lane being the fucking motivational hippie jibby baba booba speaker that I was for season one and season two of this show. Not me, not me. I, 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 these are my motivational speeches. These are fucking real here. Okay. I'm not going to look at you and be like, you know, Hey Marshall, I'm uh, I'm trying to be this big businessman and I'm just not where I'm at. Oh yeah, man. I got the advice for you. You're not where you're at. I'll tell you this right now. Work harder, work harder, not smarter, work smarter, not harder. You got to be disciplined more, man. Less Friday nights and more Saturday mornings, buddy. You know what I'm saying? 
That's so fucking blank. That's so fucking generic. And that's not the fucking truth. I can sit here. I can gas you up. I can make you feel livid. Not livid. I can make you feel life. I can make you feel alive. I can make you feel juiced, motivated, inspired, whatever, right? And the moment you leave my presence, the moment you stop thinking about what I said, it's going to fade because that's life. External motivation is, 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 is pseudo. It's not real. It's, it's like, I don't know. It's like a high. It's literally like a high. It's like taking a drug. I feel like most motivational speakers are like taking drugs. They're not bad people. They're in it for their ego. I think absolutely. As, as I was, I, I wasn't trying to benefit you or make you more motivated. I was just trying to make you think that I was good at that. I wanted you to be like, Oh my God, he's so good at getting me motivated. Yeah. This should be getting you motivated right here, man. You see this? Yeah! Again, video, <laughs> please, folks. Otherwise, I probably seem pretty stupid from <laughs> just watching that right now. And this is not Pilgrim, if you can see. There's a point here. There's a point here. So, it's the other day. It's not Pilgrim. It's that. I, you guys can't know. You can't know. So, I want you to watch it. So, I'm not going to say the word because you got to see it to believe it. Because, again, I'm serious today. I'm very serious. Lost my grandfather last week. Grandfather died. Ended his um, five-year battle with Alzheimer's. That's a serious topic. But uh, it was one of those situations where, you know, honestly, it's like, um, you know, we called him Papa because he was always there for us. I think I talked about him several times. The grandmother that I watch is that's, that's her husband. That, that, that's right, us, right outside this room here. That's her husband. And uh, we called him Papa because um, he took care of us a lot. He was like my second dad. My dad would travel a lot with his work. You know, hey, nothing again. He had to do what he had to do to support his family. But he was going to San Francisco. He's going to Las Vegas, like weeks, you know. <laughs> and now I look back, it's like, yeah, what were you doing all those weeks, dad? No, I'm a serious note here. I'm just kidding. He, 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 uh, I know he had his job out there because uh, we went out there and, and stayed with him for a little bit. Um, but, um, um, but yeah, he was papa to us and it was, it was, it was crazy. And, that we step that he had to go in 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 that way, you know, because it was crazy how ten years ago if I ever would have thought even a glimpse of thought of my grandfather passing away, Papa passing away, I would be choked up to the max because I love the guy, I fucking love the guy, and he loved us. That there's no doubt about that. And um, but it was funny how that when the day came just a week ago, was it just a week ago? It was literally. It was last Sunday. Today's a Tuesday, so about nine days ago. Um, not one tear and not one dread of sorrow except for my grandmother, right? I really, I felt bad. For, <clears throat> I felt bad for my grandmother. But for me, it was more of a selfish at peace. And selfish or not, I mean, it was for me, but also him. And knowing him in pain makes me feel in pain. You know, he was a big farmer guy, literally a 75, 76, 77 year old guy climbing up grain bins still. 25 foot, that's that's a short grain bin. I don't know how tall grain bins get, but you know what I'm saying? Just always climbing up grain bins and doing a bunch of shit, out moving bales and shit, all, all the way to 75. Like, love to work, love to work. And we always knew that if he would have seen the life, that he was living these last few years, he would have been so fucking miserable. And again, here's another point to why he didn't make me feel bad is because my grandfather, yes, his vessel, his body, quote unquote, his vessel passed away nine days ago. But my grandfather, Papa, he died three or four years ago, right? The moment he stopped knowing me and stopped knowing my brother and my sister and he, he stopped being grandfather to us, not that it was his, not that it was his up, up, up to his fucking discretion, his goddamn brain was dying. Um, um, that's when he passed away to me. And that's when I struggled with losing him, right? That's when I cried, you know, within the weeks, within the months, or every time I saw him after that, right? I, I cried and cried and cried and cried. But time went by, years went by, and <clears throat> as many times as I saw my grandfather, basically we were just there to visit my grandmother because she was still lucid. But um, it, was, it wasn't my grandfather. So... You know, I lost him years ago. So this last week, I was so, it was not funny, but um, we were at, it was Sunday. I was at my cabin or my parents' cabin with Tate. And I was like, you know what, man? I, uh, I'm pretty sure my grandpa's going to die today. And he's just like, I, I, I didn't mean to do that. I literally just said, oh, I think my grandfather's going to die today. He just goes, well, what? 
what? Um, you know, and he was just super awkward. He's just like, what? And I'm like, oh my God, I, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't mean to put you in that perspective. I don't mean to put you there. I don't mean to put you in that goddamn corner. And he's like, I, 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 I was just I was like, I don't know what to say. And he was kind of like silent for the next 15 minutes. But I said it like that. I was like, oh, I think my grandfather's going to die today. Because um, he got there, you know, afternoon when my mom called me in the morning because he was in hospice for a while. And um, it was so amazing that they knew that. They called my mom on Sunday morning. She had plans made for my sister's game, having friends over X, Y, Z. But they called her Sunday morning and they said, hey, um, yeah. You know, they've been talking in the last week and how it's kind of just been like a big roller coaster. He'll have three really bad days where you wouldn't even get out of the bed. And then you have three decent days where he's like pretty decent, thinking maybe there's another six, seven months left. And then on a Sunday, they're like, no, yesterday and last night was bad. And this is probably going to be it. And it was crazy. They got there. My mom drove three hours away with my grandmother and they got there about three hours later. Duh, they drove three hours and got there about three hours later. Wow. That's, that's how that works. That's how math works, folks. Like I said, I'm a genius and life is serious. And I am the epitome of seriousness. Anyway, so they got there and about f three, four hours in there, he passed away peacefully. Just slowed his breaths and then took a big gasp and he stopped. He was on, he was, was on a heart monitor. So I always thought, I, saw, I always thought because this is the second time I had a grandfather. Um, my grandfather, my dad's dad died four years ago from mesothemioma. If you were a loved one has been diagnosed with mesothemioma, you may be liable for a lawsuit. Blah, 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 blah. That one. Yeah. From asbestos. He got it from asbestos in his, one of his old jobs. And it was so funny when they're in hospice, it's like, you'd think like, how do they know they die? I'm like, how do you, they know they die? I'm like, cause I thought they'd have the heart monitor. I thought everyone would have the heart monitor. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, right? That's what I thought, but no, there's those are really expensive and not most people don't have those unless you're like in urgent care or, you know? And so I thought it was really funny um, or just bizarre. I, I wonder how it worked. And my mom said that when it was getting low, right? She could kind of see him breathing very slow, which I already knew about this because <clears throat> my previous grandfather four years ago, very same situation. Um, uh, but she's like, yeah, and all of a sudden he took this big... And you were waiting for the, but it just didn't come. Didn't come. And she's like, I waited for like 30 seconds. And I kind of ran towards the bed and put my head towards his ear and, you know, touch his neck to check his pulse. And she's like, and she looks at her brother. She's like, I don't think he's breathing. I don't think he's breathing. And then comes into the nurse and, and then the nurse says, um, oh, it, you know, put the, like the telescope, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. Just again, I'm a genius here. Okay. I don't even know what it's called. Telescope, whatever. Not a telescope. It's like, I don't know, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. And checking her pulse. I'm a health major. I don't know what it's called. I don't, I don't remember what it's called. That thing that goes, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, I don't know what it's called, but, um, yeah. And then she put it on her heart, his heart. And then she just looks, look at my mom and my grandmother and whatnot and says, uh, Oh no, he's, he's still alive. Um, but it's just going to be minutes now. And that's just so crazy how it died. Death must be pretty similar unless it was like dramatic impact. If you're dying of a disease or natural cause or whatever, um, is there even natural causes anymore? Because they all got to die of something. Every death has got to be labeled something. I hate that. Like, why can't they just die? You know, what? Wh why can't no one just die of natural age no more? It's always got to be something. And, um, but she's like, yeah, there's going to be several minutes now. So and they just kind of sat there. And I just think it's crazy how it must be pretty similar. If they know that, they knew that th at that moment with his heart rate and his breath, it's just minutes, minutes away. That's, that's kind of odd, but kind of beautiful at the same time. And then, they, yeah, they saw him go and... You know, we, uh, he's a cremation guy. He had a farm. I don't know. It's probably not legal, but we're going to, you know, spread the ashes where we spread them. Um, and, um, we're going to do a memorial and, uh, my grandma got to see him for the last time a few days ago. And now he's getting cremated and we're going to have his <coughs> ashes, blah, 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 blah. But, um, I think we're going to have the memorial in like a few weeks here, but it's going to be good. It's going to be good to, to come together celebrate my papa's life celebrate my grandfather's life and um say goodbye to him fi for the final time and kind of um in a way close his book you know we're all the narr we're all the narrators and writers of our own story and it's time for his story to be closed and you know that's kind of beautiful i don't know how i got to that i was talking about seriousness but um back to a more um, silliness topic, but being honest with yourself because you'd be pissed when other people don't. That tied into 
this will probably be labeled it now. I don't remember what the last one will be. The last the last episode is probably gonna be labeled um where we aren't that different or y- y'all aren't that different or we're not that different. I don't know. But um this one's gonna be, you know, laugh. Fucking laugh. Stop taking yourself so goddamn serious. Okay, this, this is the only time I'm gonna be definitive on this shit, right? Whether life is serious or not, whether it's whether it's serious or silly, whatever you want to fucking choose. But don't let it be too goddamn serious. Holy moly. Can we just laugh for a second? Guys, look at the last year, man. I was fucking silly, bro. It was very serious, but holy shit. It's like literally, it's like literally if there were a God or there was, was a, you know, leader of the fucking universe, right? They were shitting on our goddamn asses, okay? They were shitting on our asses. They weren't even giving us the courtesy of like, you know, a courtesy a courtesy towel or even a courtesy flush. No, 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 no. Not a courtesy flush. No, we walked into the goddamn bathroom and there was shit all over the fucking stall. All, not even just in the toilet, all over the goddamn stall. And guess what? Then we start, we were like, oh shit, how are we going to get through this? But there was just enough of an, an area for us to get in. We pull our pants down and we decide to take our little poops ourselves. And then guess what? We take this massive shit, this massive shit. And it was stinky. It was smelly. And it was horrible. And we're like, okay, finally, we got some relief. We got, we got, we got some relief. We got to chill out. We got to calm down. We got to relieve ourselves. No, 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 no. No, there was R- Richard in the stall next to us, and he was videoing us the whole time, puts it on TikTok. He's like, oh my god, listen to this guy, fucking shit. And we're like, oh my god. Now we go through public embarrassment again. Now life gets real shitty again. And then guess what? After we got to relieve ourselves, and then we just got to fucking embarrass. Now we're like, okay, we just gotta get the fuck out of here. We go to reach down, toilet paper gone. No toilet paper. Now we got brown cheeks. We got brown streaks. Okay? We got poop in our fucking asshole. That's what we got. We it was that it was that one where it was the point where we didn't get to really finish ourselves and completely relieve ourselves. We had to pinch it. You know what I'm saying? Like if your poops aren't logs that kind of come to a little T at the end, that means you pinched. If you pinched, right, just cup, use that spanker to sh- you know cut the log and it's like a, it's like a, it's like a solid log like a wood log like that and it doesn't come to a, a peak that means you still had more to go and we still had more to go more shit in our asses okay no toilet paper richard making fun of us in the next one shit all over the goddamn stalls and then then we've just decided to decide we decide to just go out where it's like you know what man we're just gonna pull up our fucking pants we're gonna get out of here we're just gonna get in the car go home we're gonna have you know baby wipes we're gonna be wipe our ass we're gonna clean ourselves up no 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 guess what happened as we walked out the motherfucking door jennifer aniston standing there looking like a dime piece and she's like oh hey i owe the bathroom free i go um no no it's not no it's not the bathroom is not free please don't go in there and then she's just like Oh my god. Oh, it must be. It must not be free. Oh, whoo, jeez. Okay, I don't want to go in there. And then she's just like, and then we start walking together. Now we're just walking out of the restaurant kind of because this was this was the restroom in the restaurant. No, you guys know this stuff. This is this is easy to follow here. This analogy is easy to follow. If you can't follow it, you should look yourself in the mirror because you might have stupidity. Yeah. You might have you might have contagious stupidity. Because this is very easy to follow. Again, so you're walking out of the restaurant with Jennifer Aniston. And then she keeps walking, and you're getting further and further away from the bathroom, and she, you can keep seeing her sniff. And you're like, oh, fuck. And then she's like, I don't think it's the bathroom. I think it's you. You smell like shit. And I go, no, 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 no. No, we think we're all good, right? Because we cover ourselves up. We, 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 we felt all good. But here's the thing. We weren't wearing pants that day. We were wearing shorts. And when we were wearing shorts, it, 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 it led to our biggest fuck up yet. Because Jennifer Aniston now thinks we're the shit smellers. And we go, no, 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 no. So we're going to. You know, curb our embarrassment here. No, 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 that's not me. Oh my God, I, I, I swear to God, Jennifer, it was that other guy in the stall. He stinks so bad. It's probably like, it's probably like melted into my clothes. You know, melted into my clothes. It's probably just soaked in there. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go take a shower. You wanna take a shower with me? And she goes, um, no, but it's, it's, you probably do have to go take a shower, but I don't know if that's that guy because there's shit running down your leg. 2020, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That's what it was like. Very similar. Very, very similar. You silliness to fucking cope with your seriousness. God damn it. Be honest with yourself. Be brutally honest with yourself because you're going to be pissed when other people do. Laugh. Take a goddamn laugh break. Like I said, stop with those fucking Kit Kat breaks because we know you've been taking them, baby. Come on, Bailey. We know you've been taking them. Sally. Sally. Bridget. Jerry. 
Jimmy, Timmy, Bimmy, Rim Jobby, Remy, Rammy, Tammy, and Sammy. Okay, we know you guys are taking the goddamn Kit Kat breaks. Now take a fucking laugh break. Stop taking yourself so fucking serious. I think, honestly, holy shit, look at what we value right now. This bipartisanship, all these little social, a lot of these social issues are bullshit. It is, it is, it is people that are so fucking bored, have no purpose or meaning, or feel like they have no purpose or meaning. They do. I promise you, you do. You just got to find it. And it's not these goddamn bullshit social issues. You know, when now you see what, like the, the super straight flag and stuff, what do you, what do you expect to happen? If you're going to, if you're going to create this mockery of, of the way we do things, most people are going to make a mockery of the way you do it. And it's like, somebody asked me this question too. They're like, do you think it is, it is the majority of people that feel that way with all these bullshit social issues? Or do you think it is the minority that are just super loud? And I know people have talked about that before. And I, I agree. I really think it's that way because I have interactions with, you know, with DoorDash, my friends, I honest to God, gas stations and gyms and everything, right? I honest to God have an interaction with 50 people a day, whether it's grabbing food, handing food, talking to another DoorDasher in the place, you know, filling up my gas, checking out, you know what I'm saying? All those different things. Probably 50 people a day. Friends, mom, dad, grandma, right? 50 people a day. Six days a week, those 50 are good. And then one of the seven days, 49 of them are good. I get one bad out of every 350. One. And it's not even that bad. It's like maybe just someone was having a bad day and they gave me a little bit of an attitude. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was trying to say in that last one. You're not that fucking different, okay? We all get fucking tired and get fucking crabby. We all just want to be happy. A lot of us look, we all look forward to, whether it's our Friday or Saturday night, we all look forward to parties and it doesn't have to be drinking. It can just be having fun. We all look forward to social events. We all look forward to the end, quote unquote, the end, whether it's the weekend or it's, or it's the work, it's the end of the work day or it's the end of our hard shift or whatever it is, or it's the end of a hard journey, hard, end of a hard process, blah, blah, blah. We love the the end and I think we're designed to love the end I don't think I really don't think I really don't think enjoying the process is a good is a good um, ad, ad, advice because I don't think we're built to enjoy the process and if, and if you and if you really listen to what they say they say you have to learn to enjoy the process but the advice they end up giving is enjoy all the little steps so say you know you want to become a, an NFL superstar right you cannot be obsessed with becoming an NFL superstar right? That's what they, they're saying. They say you have to be obsessed with every little day. And at the end of every day, you go, yeah, I worked hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the same thing. So it's not enjoying that. Now you're just saying, okay, instead of thinking of the process as this five year, 10 year journey to get to the you know NFL superstar, now your process is each day. It's the exact same thing. You're not enjoying the process. No, you're never going to enjoy it. You, you, you cannot enjoy the minutes. Okay. I love to, I like to work out. I do. I don't like to work out. Do you get what I'm saying here? I like to work out, but I do not like to work out. I love when I'm done with that set, that 30 second, 35 second, 40 second set, right? And I put the weights down and I'm just like, dude, blood's going through me. Can't you tell I like to work out? Yeah. Um, yeah, I like to work out, but I don't like to work out. Okay. I love to do DoorDash, but I really don't love to do DoorDash. It's fine. It's, it's like, it's not misery. Working out is not misery to me, but I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy it like this. This I love to do, but I don't like doing all the other shit. I don't like having to put the fucking camera on. I don't like having to make sure the lights are all good and all this backlight and all that different shit. I don't like to learn the, the three lighting technique. You got a key light, a fill light and a backlight. Shut up. I hate that shit. Somebody give me a goddamn producer. I need a producer. I need someone to produce my shit. Okay? But I don't I don't I think I think that's absolutely horse shit advice. It's 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 false. It's like, "Hey man, just try not to dread the process." But use that key because we need rewards. That's how you train the human brain. That's how you train a dog. We look towards the end. A dog only listens to your fucking advice, only tells, only listens to you to tell him to roll over, to stop, or to get down, blah, 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 because he's waiting for that fucking treat. And maybe that, maybe you tell him to, maybe you tell him to sit down, you know, eight times throughout the day, and then he gets a treat. He doesn't get a treat every time you tell him to sit down, but he, 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 he will do every sit down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because he knows 
then at, or hope so at that eighth time that reward's gonna come not just humans we we, we the, the end is it but the end isn't necessarily always the end it's just the end of that fucking process now guess what when the end's over because the end ends right the end ends there's an end of the end and then we start again it's monday let's start again friday saturday right sunday the weekend comes the end but sunday comes and the end ends and now we start again Right? I don't <laughs> just love the process. <laughs> Enjoy the love the pro No man, I don't think that's fucking real. I don't think that's how the brain works. Okay? I could be this, you know, the serious You guys think I paused there? I think I kinda I, I kinda paused it, I kinda freaked. But I, you know, you look at me like, oh this guy's a serious smart guy. You know, I could be, but it also could be I, I, for some reason I could be wrong. I mean that would blow my mind. That would blow my mind that this guy is wrong, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Again, watch the video. But uh, <laughs> but um, I don't know. But I think that's horseshit advice. Try to find good ends. That's that's the better advice. For, for, it works for me, right? I'm not going to enjoy the process. I'm not really going to enjoy Monday through Friday. But I have the work ethic and the discipline. And a little bit of the discipline. I have the work ethic and the discipline to get through it. Because I know, for me... To go through Monday through Friday or whatever it is. Maybe it's Tuesday through Saturday. I don't know. But whenever my weekend or my end of my work week comes, that's what I do the whole work of week for. The, 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 the week of work for. Okay, it's not sick. I'm not living for the weekend. I'm not. But I'm living for my end. And my end is I get to stop doing DoorDash, stop to get to do fucking school, and I get to make videos, and I get to do podcasts, and I get to hang out with my friends. That's my end, right? And let's say in the future... That starts to become my week. Monday through Friday starts to be Monday through Friday. My week starts to become making videos, doing podcasts, X, Y, Z. I would love. That's what I'm doing this for. I hope that's a you know a reality that that comes to fruition. But then my end will be something else. Maybe it's maybe it's a it's it's every Saturday my daughter or son has a game. And I get to you know go watch my son or daughter play a sport. Or maybe you know Sunday brunch. Me and my significant other, me and my wifey, me and my girlfriend, wherever it is, right? We go get to do Sunday brunch. There's a whole point to it. And that's why I, I also thought about this. Y'all, I think a lot of y'all is going to agree with me on this. The purpose of life, this is my whole change. I know I've changed on this, y'all. I know I changed on this, but that's all right. We can change. You can say, man, I was different than I was the week before. You can say, man, I was different than I was yesterday. Hopefully you fucking do. Hopefully you change so much that you do that. My, my, dad, always, my dad always makes it seem bad that I change. Fuck that, man. I think, my, I think changing is a goddamn asset of my life. I, I'm not. I'm not stuck to my fucking ideologies. I'm not stuck to the way I want to do things. I'm not stuck to this is the right way. It's, it's not. I don't know. Who the fuck knows? Like I said before in the last, we're all morons. We're all fucking dumbass chimps flying on this. As Joe Rogan say, this spaceship through the fucking infinity. We're not smart. I don't know. Y'all don't know. Don't fucking pretend. I'm at least I'm not gonna pretend that I do know. I did. <laughs> Happy campers and willfully optimistic, buddy. I hated it. I fucking hated that show. I, I think there's a lot of good things about it. I want to get back to like those types of interviews with people asking about, you know, what their hobbies are and then what they struggle with and how do they remedy that and all these different things. How do they find the light at the end of the tunnel? All these different things. I think there's a lot of good stuff to that. And I might get back to that. But the the solo monologues and all the hippie jippy shit. Yeah, it may have been too much drugs. Okay? It may have been a little bit too much drugs too. I don't know. Right? Hey, man, to each his own. You got to live to learn. You got to live to learn. You're gonna, you're gonna shame me for living? You're gonna shame me for learning? I learned. I got here. Ain't going back there again. I got here. I ain't a Messiah. I ain't Jesus. I mean, I am Jesus. I'm like a sculpture. Mm. But I'm not a fucking Messiah. Um, I really don't know where exactly I was on with that one. But I really, again, I love these fucking tangents. They make it so much fun for me. Um, but... I don't know. I don't know exactly where I was on that one. Uh, thank you for listening or watching. Until next time, take care, my friends. And, uh, scoot boot. Toodle.